Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do some more of our page setup, but before I do that, I did get a selfie update today. Um, and it's not a good one. So they, they sent the mass off that they removed to see what it is. And it, uh, it came back, it turned out it was skin cancer. And the specific type of skin cancer that it is, they said most likely it doesn't metastasize to anything. <laughs> so that um, we shouldn't really have to worry about that. She is an older dog. So she said the only thing, you know, she said in my opinion, you, she's probably gonna die of old age and not the skin cancer. So that, you know, that's, good I guess but we opted to not do any sort of like radiation and all of that I just didn't want to put her through that she's just too old and you know as is as long as she's comfortable and happy you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave her be but her her wound still isn't closed it's so gross it's so gross but the doctor said that if it doesn't close if it doesn't heal that that means that there's still skin cancer in there and she's a light dog she's a white dog so she has like really light skin like underneath the really delicate <laughs> skin so that's probably how she got the skin cancer in the first place but they didn't know they couldn't say for sure but anyway so it's it just kind of like a like a bad like a bad call but now we know and we can do that we can take the steps that we need to take so or, or not take one of the two <laughs> so that's the Sophie update and thank you to everyone who is so sweet and leaves such nice little messages and and says nice things and prays for us and for her and keeps us you know in their thoughts and stuff and and just um, animals are, are so important to <laughs> to our psyche I think we just they're just our little people they're like they're like little people they're like they're just part of the family. There's just no other explanation. So it's just tough. But she's a good dog. She's 13 years old. She's always been healthy. She's been a good dog. She's a great dog. And, and she could live another two or three years and still be great and healthy, you know? So we'll just have to see. But anyway, thank you all for asking about her and inquiring and and sending me your, your sweet messages. I really appreciate it. You guys, you guys are amazing. The album that we're currently working on is called the Enchanted Plant Department. <laughs> so the plant department is the paper collection that we're using and the Enchanted is the decorative edge, the basically amazing decorative edge add-on that we're using. So we're using the add-on and the foundations. And um, some of you may or may not know that not every page that's in the foundations is in the add-ons. So, for example, the covers and the mats for the covers are only in the foundations. They're not in the add-ons. There is um, some pages that are combined in the Enchanted and not on the foundations. Even though the page numbers, they correspond to each other, you know. Um, I had a question about a binding strip and um, it, was, it was about the page number. They didn't have page number six in their enchanted or it might not even have been enchanted it might have been a different decorative edge but she said it just skips from five to six point one or however she phrased it and i was like yes that's right you're right because in the foundations page number six is the binding page i can just show you page number six is the binding page in the foundations so there's just one binding page so for the um, the Enchanted Decorative Edge, for any of the add-on decorative edges, there's different binding pages. So there is a, um, this is for the accordion binding, for you could do a stitched binding. And where you, where you could do the accordion or you can do a, um, a version of it that I call the stitched accordion binding. And this one has a half inch gussets, right? So that's 6.1. So 6.2, 
This one is three pages. Oh, okay, 6.1 is four pages. This one is three pages. This one is two pages, all with a half inch gusset in between. And then 6.4 has a quarter of an inch gusset. So if you were just putting booklets in, you can just make a whole album using, um, you can just sew booklets in. Do you know what I'm saying? So 6.4 is, um, let's see, five pages with a quarter inch gusset. This one is three pages, quarter inch. Am I saying gusset? I guess, is it a gusset page, a space between fins? I don't know. Um, and so then it go, well, I actually put them in there wrong. <laughs> so then you would go to page 7A. So that's why the page numbers are like that. So some of you may have missed that explanation a while ago. So uh, I just wanted to clear that up really quick. Oh, you can hear my, my Sophie, my sweet Sophie down there. She fell last night on her butt. I don't know what happened. I don't know if she shook her head and got lost to her balance and fell, but there was blood everywhere from her butt, you know, from her wound on her tush. So I was just like, oh gosh. <sighs> I just wanted to heal up so bad. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, okay, sorry. I, I just was listening to her down there. So this album that we're making is the Enchanted Plate Department. We have a whole video playlist for this album. It starts at the beginning and we work our way through. So if you ever get lost, you ever miss a video, it'll be in that playlist and it'll be in order. So you can check that out and you can check to see if you've watched it, all of the videos because it'll show you how much you've watched. It'll have like a red line, I think. Also, I have a question really quick before I forget uh, for you guys. Uh, someone asked me if I, if I would put the roses and the flower background design on the Simply Magical collection. Let me know, leave me a comment if you want those background designs on that uh, set of templates. Because the, the roses is a unique, more unique one than the flower. So if you just wanted the roses or whatever, just leave, let me know, just let me know. And if you, if you do, I'll, I'll uh, make time to, to get that done or I'll, I'll have my son do it, one of the two. <laughs> okay. So check out the playlist if you want to make sure that you have uh, stayed caught up. But I'm going to remove this front cover piece for now because um, we're going to be working on the inside. So I'm going to set this aside. So yeah, in case you haven't saw, this one is a removable interactive front cover, which we are not finished with yet. <laughs> but that is okay. So what we're going to be working on today is this back side. Okay, so we're still on the first fin. This is the first fin. There's only two fins. You could done four fins. You could do as many fins as you want to, you guys. You do not have to make them exactly the way I do, or you can add, you can make them the way I do, but then do more fins, do you know? Um, you do it however you want to do it. You don't have to just do two fins. If you, I just do two fins for time's sake because we could spend a year making an album with, you know, I, I, however many fins and, cause that's just how weird I am. I'm detailed like that. I like to make every page look special and different and you know so I, I just can't I can't do that <laughs> I can't do that so this is one fin so I'm gonna kind of kind of keep it not well it's, it's I say simple but it's not gonna be simple it's not simple simple it's not gonna look simple it's not gonna be super bulky but it's not gonna be flat either so anyway we're gonna work on the back side here what we did in the last video was this stuff in here which was fun. I haven't done anything else to it yet. And I haven't posted the video yet, so I don't know. I did ask you all a question about um, this. Oh, she's, what is she doing? So I'll have to wait for the answer because I haven't posted the video yet. <laughs> um, anyway, all right, so we're gonna be putting stuff on the back side here. So let me show you what I've already got pr printed and ready to go out of the basically amazing enchanted decorative edge add-on i printed page 8b so it's this page right here on 80 pound white cardstock and i left all the tabs on and i scored and then for this one we're going to be putting it this way so i flipped it over inked this side and then i put tape along this side and I did notch the corners so that they can overlap so that um, when we stick it down, things don't get stuck. I 
got uh, ink <laughs> ink under my fingernail there. So we're gonna have a pocket. So there's that. And of course, I've already done the mats. I've already picked everything out for most things, and I've already tra I've traced most of the mats. So you'll need the mat for that 55B. Um, and then the next thing I printed was page 40, is it 41 CD? Yes, 41 CD. And I printed the flower background template, so it looks just like this. We're not going to use this piece right now. But we're, we're gathering a lot of pieces over here to the side, so we're going to have to start using some of those in the next setups. We might end up using this. Uh, soon but um, well we will end up using I want to use everything that I've printed off so far so we'll see how that goes I'll, I'll spend some time to work that out so we're just going to be using this piece right now so I cut it out I scored it and I inked it up on both sides and I think I'm gonna have it this way I did not uh, let's see what am I looking for I did not do a mat for this yet I haven't decided so I'm just going to keep it like this. I don't know if I'm going to make it a pocket or if I'm going to make it a photo mat flip. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, so I'm just going to leave it like this. But it is going to be an insert. And then the last thing out of the Enchanted Decorative Edge, I printed page 48. So it looks like this. Printed everything so far is on 80 pound white cardstock. I printed this out, and I'm not going to use the two that are in the center. I'm going to use the top and the bottom one um, because we're going to put them on the top and bottom corner. So um, I cut them out, and I scored and put tape on them. And I did ink the inside edge there, just in case. So that's that. We're going to put these aside for now. And you'll need the mat for that, which is on page 95. Um, but I've already traced it out, so there's that. And then out of the foundations, I printed two things. Well, first I printed page 7A, or no, I'm sorry, <laughs> page 54A. I print, that's the mat for page 7A. And at first I printed the, the um, full, the, the page from the flip-flop uh, ephemera. It's got the script. I printed that out um, first, and then I printed page 54A over top and cut it out so that we're going to mat the main base page with this. And then I printed page 31B. No, no, 30B. 30, 30B out. I printed the flower version so it looked just like this on the page. It's on 80 pound white cardstock printed the flower version out and I cut it out and inked it up on both sides and I do have a few mats for this so um, if you're doing it the exact same way I am you're not going to need your mat 77B but if you're not it's 77B okay so that is what I've got printed now let's get it put together I also have uh, down below in the description box there are there is a a list a collections list for all the printables that I'm using in this project. There is an Amazon list. I make special lists for all my projects. So that way you can go to that list and you can see everything, even down to the printer that I use that is no longer available, but it's still there so you can see it. Um, you might be able to get a refurbished one, but it's in that list. I try to add that at the bottom of the list. Even my salt candle is in that list. And the, the tea lights that I use that burn eight to 10 hours, those are in that list. So. Check them out. If you're interested in anything that you see, I try to put everything in the list because I get asked about these things all the time, so I just add them into the list anyway. So, okay. So, 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 so. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to mat anything yet. We're going to put this pocket down right here on this side. So, I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to take and attach these two together so that that inserts don't get stuck on that you could cut it clean across and use tape I'm just kind of being lazy today so and y'all know what I mean you, you cut it to where it doesn't overlap and then you put the, the back on first and then you put a piece of tape over top so that inserts will slide back and forth I'm just being I'm just being lazy 
Okay, so I'm gonna take the tape backing off now. I think, I don't always do this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna run some glue along this bottom edge well, it's not the bottom edge, it's the edge that's gonna be right here because it's a little bulky and almost, it's almost humpy. It's like got a hump right here. I'm gonna see if I can make sure that it doesn't come up just by using some glue. I don't know what's going on. Does anybody have any pointers for my art glitter glue because to be honest it, it, every time I use it now it's getting clogged I don't know if I've got a, a bad batch or what all right so I'm just going to add this glue whoa didn't mean to go on that side Wow. Not too bad. So I'm going to stick this down here. Actually, I'm going to turn my book a little bit so I can see. Don't go over the score on the page. I told you to do to not go over the score, and I think I did. Jeez. And I put it on crooked. Good job. Good job, Jen. That's what I say. Good job, Jen. <laughs> All right. So, it's okay. I mean, I am going to be matting all the way through, so I guess I didn't have to leave that extra bulk. I wouldn't have had to have... Um, In fact, I'm just going to put glue towards the top here because that there's no need to put glue all the way down to the bottom because it's going to cover the whole thing. So I'm just going to go like this. like that so I kind of it is kind of a bit of a waste really of all that uh, pattern paper but since it's a printable it's okay I think it'll be fine I can always print some more plus it's a nice clean look inside of there you know I swear <laughs> I keep messing that up okay so then the next thing we want to do is we want to add these pockets and once again it's gonna be covered up so I don't have to worry so much about it um, but I'm going to do it anyway just because I'm just so used to doing that either this way or the other way. I'm going to take the tape backing. I'm going to put one of these corners down here. And I'm going to put one of the corners up there. I'm going to flip this around so I can see it a little better.
I did mess that up just a little bit, but it's okay. We're just gonna go with it. Okay, so this is actually gonna be an insert for here. And this one is gonna be an insert for back here. So, just like that. Okay, well, let's do these first. And I'm just gonna grab them. So here's what I picked. I, I love the front cover so much. I kinda did the same combination of this, of this pretty blue and this pretty uh, green stuff. But this was the piece I had left over that uh, is still a very giant piece, but because of the way I did this, um, it's not big enough. So I had to grab me another sheet and that's okay. So this is the third one of this that I've cut into out of this pack. So there's four. So I've only got one more of these, but I think this might be my favorite. This one and the screen one, which I used the screen one. This was a scrap that was left over from another page. So I just traced the pieces out of here like this. I just tried to make sure I kept it in the right direction so that they looked the same, you know, that the images were going in the same direction. So those are the things that I cut out, inked up for matting. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and mat it. I'm just going to grab my glue. We're going to go all the way around and I'm going to mat it. I probably have to stand the page up a little bit. So I just traced this one and then cut it out, inked it up. This is Fabri-Tac. This is, this is the glue that I'm using. I like it. It gives you wiggle room. It's strong. Some people hate it. I understand. But if I could only buy one glue, that would be the one because it works on everything. Probably should have made sure I cut that. I could have cut this a little bit better, a little bit more precise, but it's not that noticeable because my points are just a little wonky and it's, it happens. So don't, don't beat yourself up if it happens to you too. It happens, it happens, it just happens. <laughs> but it's okay, I think it looks good. I should have checked, but again, what do I always tell you guys? Don't, you don't have to be perfect. And you guys make fun of me, and then you're like, yeah, but then look at you. <laughs> you're, you'll do something 10 times because you wanna fix it. But anyways, handmade, handmade item, you guys. Just remember, it's handmade. It's not supposed to be perfect. Yep, I could have checked these a little bit too, but again, it's all right. I didn't cut that very good at all. Okay, so this will be here, and uh, when I, whenever I finish it, but it's not going to be today, that'll be there with whatever. And then this piece, this one is the insert for here. So here's what I did. I took my 6x6 six six paper pad, oh. And um, on 30B, the six by six paper, well, the six, six inch this way is the perfect size for a mat. So I took two sheets, two, um, two that went together, and I'm gonna mat the back of this with two of the six by six pieces like this. And I'm gonna make it like a little pocket for a photo. I don't have to grab one, you know, something where we could stick a photo or something down in there or several photos so all I did for this is I tore it I actually was going to use it this way but I didn't like it 
so anyway, I just tore it because I was going to leave that tree there. And I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't like it. So I flipped it over and I like this better. So you can utilize your six by six paper pads this way as well, which is fun. It's another option. So I'm going to glue this piece down first. For this piece, I'm just going to go around the three edges, not the torn edge, just these three edges. Alright, so it's perfect. I'm gonna let that dry a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab I'm gonna go print probably a photo mat. I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't have to print them. I already had some printed. These are both on cardstock. They're from the Photo Mats Essentials 2. And I think I'll do so this one is meant for a 3x4 photo. And this one is meant for a 4x6 photo. But I think I'll do one of each because I think it looks cool. Um, I don't have one of the one of these large ones with the black. But I think the I think this looks cool. So I haven't inked it up or anything. Obviously, you guys just saw that. But look at there, right? Or we could have it like this. It doesn't have to be a booklet either. You can just have individuals. There. Look at that. That's cute. Let's see what that looks like in the pocket. I'm not sure this is dry enough to be doing this with, but we're doing it. Oh, look at there. Okay. So that looks good. There's a lot going on there. Make sure that that stays glued down. I like that. Of course, we haven't really done any embellishing or anything, so we'll come back and make and and obviously finish this and make everything a little fancier. But look at there. That's just one fin. One fin. That's a lot. That is a lot of stuff in one fin. So we got one more fin to go, and then. Um, yeah, and then we'll have to go back and finish everything else up because we didn't, every, not everything is finished. So, in the last video I was saying, I'm not going to use magnets and I'm going to stick to it, but it's annoying that these keep flopping open. But how often are you going to be, you know, doing what I was just doing? <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for also giving me some like, grace with my videos being sporadic and at different weird times and yeah. I just appreciate you guys so very much and it's important to me to keep working. This is, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. So it's important that you guys keep supporting me, um, with encouragement, you know, with, with positive, <laughs> encouraging words. And I really appreciate each and every one of you so much. So, okay. All right, thank you, thank you again so much for joining me today, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the description box and all that jazz. The first pinned comment has the timestamps and um, the link to the collection that all the printables that I'm using from my shop. So um, be sure to check all that out. Let me know what you think, you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.